Hello everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese Metaphysics Master in Hong Kong. Today I'd like to discuss the subject of Sha Qi or negative Qi in Feng Shui. Now, Sha Qi is a concept that uh, confuses a lot of people because um, it's not always very obvious what Sha Qi or what negative Qi actually is. Negative Qi is emitted by features, mostly external features, that are unpleasant or menacing. Yeah, we, we call them merciless very often in the feng shui terminology, but they're generally features that have sharp edges, are somehow protruding, are very pointy, or just direct wind at our property. Now, typical Sha Qi features are the windmills that you see in, in the back of, uh, of this picture, in my background, or also electrical pylons, for example. Uh, and then just negative features such as, uh, let's say, electrical plants, power plants, nuclear power plants, sewage plants. Yeah, these are very, very obvious negative features. Now, how close do they need to be to actually affect us? So if you have um, a pylon, an electrical pylon somewhere in five kilometer distance, that is definitely not going to affect you. But if it's right outside your window, and these things are usually quite big, then it will affect you no matter what. So there's no um, remedy for that in terms of feng shui, because the closer um, negative feature is, the more Sha Qi it can emit. And the proximity really matters in this particular case. So the closer a Sha Qi feature gets, the more overpowering it is. And then no remedy will help. Yeah, there, there are no trees high enough to block it. You can't build a wall high enough to block it. So it's really important that when you choose a property, look out your windows, look at the windows of the properties and see if there's any feature that feels really uncomfortable to you. Like, again, if it's a pylon and it's close enough to make you feel uncomfortable, then it's usually emitting Sha Qi. Our own gut actually tells us very often what is comfortable and what's uncomfortable. It's just a problem that we don't listen to it. So look out of your window. If there's anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, it's a Sha Qi feature. If you look out of your window and you're fine with whatever you're seeing and you don't have a problem with anything and you're like, yeah, this feels comfortable, then you're fine. So really it has actually has a lot more to do with common sense than with feng shui. But Sha Qi in and of itself means negative Qi. And once you detect a Sha Qi feature, it is actually important to somehow block it and protect yourself from it. You can do that in a landed property fairly easily by planting trees, by building a wall or some sort of obstruction to block it. When it comes to apartment buildings, it's a bit more tricky and you may want to have to change rooms in order to avoid performing an important activity from a room that is affected by Sha Qi, or you may just have to use uh, curtains and draw them, uh, keep them drawn the entire time. So whatever is more pra most practical, there are other solutions as well, but those depend on the circumstances. So I hope this answered some of the questions regarding Sha Qi. If you have further questions, my contact details are below in the notes, so don't be shy and get in touch.